हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू जे सी ई कनेक्ट सब्जेक्ट ग्राउंड वाटर एंड हाइड्रोलिक्स सेवेंटीन सी वी सेवन फोर्टी टू सो इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल स्टार्ट मॉड्यूल टू दैट इज फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर फ्लो सो इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एक्विफर पैरामीटर्स लाइक स्पेसिफिक ईल्ड स्पेसिफिक रिटेंशन पोरोसिटी स्टोरेज को इफिशेंट देन वी आर गोइंग टू डिराइव सम एक्सप्रेशंस फॉर दिस एंड देन इन द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डारसीज लॉ विच इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन यू स्टडी द ग्राउंड वाटर देन हाइड्रोलिक कंडक्टिविटी कोफिशेंट ऑफ परमिबिलिटी एंड इंट्रेंसिक परमिबिलिटी ट्रांसमिसिबिलिटी ऑल दीज डेफिनेशंस विद देयर फॉर्मुलाज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू इट देन परमिबिलिटी इन डिफरेंट लेयर्ड सॉइल दैट इज आइसोट्रोपिक एंड एन आइसोट्रोपिक लेयर्ड सॉइल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इट we are going to derive expression for that then the last concept here we are going to study is steady one dimensional flow uh, we are going to discuss few cases with recharge so to start with uh, aquifer parameters so you all have studied in the previous class what is mean by aquifer so it is a greek word aqua stands for water and fer means to bear so whatever uh, aquifers or the formations which are there below the ground if they are holding enough quantity of water then <coughs> they are called as good aquifers so what is an aquifer aquifer is the one which has a good quantity of water stored okay that is called as an aquifer so how the aquifer gets water or what does a well or why does a well produce water we all, we all have seen uh, many types of wells right uh, especially the open well wherein you can observe clearly water entering into the well so how the water enters into the well so here the permeability or the hydraulic conductivity of the aquifer that allows the water to flow towards the well so we will understand the terms what is permeability what is conductivity and all in the upcoming classes so these properties are very very important to understand if you know then you will understand how the ground water will flow then the storage of the ground water in the aquifer due to the porosity of the rocks okay or the rock material that provides storage of water to feed the well through permeable zone <coughs> so here the storage of the ground water in the aquifer that is because of the porosity of the rock so let us understand first the very basic term uh, of aquifer parameter that is the porosity okay so before starting uh, first an aquifer has an ability to store and transmit the water so only we call it as a aquifer if it has the ability to store and transmit the water then the quantity of water which is stored or released by an aquifer that depends on what the nature and the composition of the aquifer which are quantified with certain parameters like porosity permeability specific yield specific retention storage coefficient transmissibility so to understand all these terminologies one by one we'll go through in detail so uh, the quantity of water which we get in an aquifer that depends upon the nature and composition of the aquifer that is nothing but all these parameters 
that will decide uh, the nature and composition will decide all these properties so <coughs> these properties they control the entrance of water into the water bearing formations or any type of rocks so these properties are very very important to understand the basic terminologies or basic concepts of a ground water studies so let us discuss first what is mean by porosity the symbol for porosity is nita that is n so porosity is the ratio of what it is it is the ratio of volume of voids or the pores in a soil uh, or a soil mass to its total volume the formula is very easy right porosity is what the ratio of ratio of what volume of voids or the pores to the total volume so vv by v into 100 because uh, it is in percentage porosity is expressed in percentage so we multiply by 100 so here n represents the porosity then vv stands for volume of voids and v is the total volume so that this is the simple formula simple definition to understand what is mean by porosity so porosity is what it is the ratio ratio of what volume of voids or the pores in a soil mass to its total volume that is called as the porosity so to make you better understand i'll give you few examples also okay so this porosity it ranges from 1% to 70% that depends upon what type of rocks it is uh, present okay so the porosity of an aquifer is equal to n is equal to ne plus nr here एन ई स्टैंड फॉर द इफेक्टिव पोरोसिटी और द स्पेसिफिक ईल्ड ओके एंड स्पेसिफिक रिटेंशन सो यू मस्ट रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द पोरोसिटी इज एन ई प्लस एन आर एडिशन ऑफ एन ई दैट इज स्पेसिफिक ईल्ड एंड स्पेसिफिक रिटेंशन टूगेदर विल गिव यू द पोरोसिटी so this we will learn in the upcoming classes so just remember the formula for time being then in unconsolidated materials what is the meaning of unconsolidated here is it is not at compacted okay it is very loose okay that is called as unconsolidated it is not consolidated still so such material or in the rock uh the porosity is dependent on the extent of spacing okay what is the extent of spacing between the pores okay or between the grains and what type of pattern or a pattern of fracturing it has undergone and the nature of solution channels so there will be a uh, solution channels which are formed below the rock so all these uh, affect the porosity of the aquifer then the shape size and packing of the grains also affect the porosity of the granular material that is shape size and degree of pack packing or arrange uh, nature of packing of the grains that affect the porosity of the granular material so here i have given you some values of porosity for common formations like this you have to remember okay for soil the porosity is around 50 to 60% percent, percent is the uh, unit for porosity percentage we express it in percentage so for the clay it is 45 to 55% percent. then for silt it is 40 to 50% percent. then you can see the difference in the porosity 
with difference in the grain size okay so if the sand is uniform it is 30 to 40 percent if the sand is medium to coarse grain it is mixture again it will be 35 to 40 then if it is gravel okay if, if it is uh, gravel it is 30 to 40 if it is mixture of again gravel and sand again it will reduce it is 20 to 35 so in if it is a sandstone rock okay then it is 10 to 20 percent if it is very fine shale okay again it is less it is 1 to 10 and in limestone also you will get the porosity as uh, 1 to 10 percent so you can see as it is finer and compactor co compacted uh, the porosity is getting reduced okay soil will be loose it is uncompacted soil then it is 50 to 60 okay so like that it will uh, differ okay it will affect so here in the table uh, we have seen different values of porosity for some common formations then uh, to make you clear uh, the idea of porosity will uh, see again in detail what does porosity depends on so here in the image you can see in the first image right the porosity is great greater and here the porosity is less so how it is less and how it is greater so here in the first image right here in the first image all the grains you can see they are almost of same size okay and here in the second image there are bigger also bigger sediments also and there are few fine sediments which have occupied the space which is there in between can you see now clearly so why it is less and why it is great porosity is so here the sand or whatever grains are present they are uniformly graded so here the sand is uniformly graded so it will have the higher porosity than a less uniformly graded sand okay and wider the range in size lower is the porosity so if you have almost of same size then the porosity will be more if you have a great variation in the size few are bigger few are smaller then again uh, the porosity will decrease so here the great porosity and here it is less porosity so in less uniform that is it is not uniform right in this image so less uniform means it is a mixture of both coarser materials and the finer materials so the what happens here the finer materials they occupy the spaces or the voids in the coarse material and it will reduce the pore spaces and that's why uh, the availability of water is also less that is nothing but the porosity is less okay i hope it is clear now why it has greater porosity and why this has less porosity so what is the difference here is the sorting okay so uniformly graded sand and here it is uh, it is a wide range of uh, uh, grains you can find and that that uh, that reduces the porosity so here it is greater porosity and here it is less porosity so here degree of sorting or grain size how it will affect the porosity it is clearly shown okay so <coughs> here again a uh, uh, few few more points to discuss that is the arrangement of the grains that plays a very very important role again right so here the arrangement of grains or the type of packing also affect the porosity right there are different types of packings like the two very common type of packings i have taken here that is square packing and rhombic packing <coughs> so here 
this is the square packing you can see the four grains okay for example i have taken four grains they are arranged in a rhombic uh, sorry square fashion and here the four grains they are showing the rhombic pattern you can see rhombic packing so the arrangement of the grains or the type of packing also affect the porosity here you can see in square packing what happens the porosity is more right here the pore space is bigger whereas if it is square packing uh, sorry rhombic packing then you can see it is very less it has reduced right that is the pore spaces between the grains or the gaps which are found between the grains okay so here for square packing the porosity is almost 47.6 percent that is uh, nearly equal to 48 percent it is higher while in rhombic packing see the difference it has reduced to 26 percent so for rhombic packing the porosity is reduced to 26 percent so here uh, the de uh, degree or the packing or arrangement of the grains also plays an important role in porosity of the aquifer okay i hope you have understood this square packing and rhombic packing so square packing uh, what happens in square packing you will get more space for water to enter and here in the uh, rhombic packing what happens the porosity reduces because of the grains okay <coughs> again if you have one more uh, way of showing this uh, square uh, cubic and uh, rhombic packing of the uh, grains okay then the sorting here i want to tell you once again so if the grains are very well sorted like in the first image you can see here right so if the grains are very well sorted the porosity is more okay if it is well sorted also that in the first image and second image you can find the difference here in the first image all the grains are equal in size whereas here in the second image the uh, grains are of mixture that is some are coarser some are finer okay so but still they are well sorted okay and you can see the uh, you can see the lot of pore spaces available there but in the third image you can see it is poorly sorted there are many fine grains uh, uh, occupying the uh, gaps between the bigger grains so that is poorly sorted and here in the fourth image at least it is very poorly sorted so here the porosity goes on decreasing so if it is very well sorted porosity is more if it is poorly sorted the porosity will be less because it is uh, getting filled okay the smaller particles they are getting filled in between the uh, coarse uh, grain packing whatever we have the pore spaces or the openings okay so that is getting filled by the smaller particles so it will reduce the porosity so in the uh, next image also you can see similar pattern i have shown that is well sorted sediments then the porosity as well as the permeability permeability is nothing but the flow of the water okay where the water flows continuously right so it is moving from this point to this point like that if it is flowing then it is called as permeability we'll discuss that once again in detail with formula okay then here just concentrate on sorting of the grains so if it is well sorted sediment the porosity and permeability will be more if it is poorly sorted sediment it will decrease okay uh, if it is porous sediment if the sediments are itself porous then also the porosity will be more okay then in consolidated sediments the porosity is less 
because it is consolidated it is uh, compacted then the porosity will reduce if uh, if uh, there is a dissolution of rocks the rocks have dissolved and they have formed the cracks okay wherever the water is flowing in between and it is reacting with the rock and it is making channels okay so there also you can find the porosity then even the rock fractures okay these are the fractures or joints you can say okay they also uh, show the good uh, porosity that is water can flow into those cracks and you, you it will percolate inside the ground and it becomes the ground water so all these are how affect the porosity then one more example last example i would like to give you here again in the image you can see the different degrees of packing right in the first image okay all the grains are very well sorted okay they are uh, almost same size okay and they are comparatively fine and here uh, the pores uh, the grains are well sorted again okay and the grain size if you compare with the first it is the second is bigger than the first one okay then in the third image again all are well sorted but you notice the grain size it is much more bigger than the previous two right and in the last image you can see it is all mixed up okay it is uh, it is having the grains of all size a variation in the grain size right so uh, which container will get filled first that is the question okay so uh, you can just have a look here okay so what are the conditions first make it clear in the first image what is there all the grains are very well sorted but the grain size is less here in the second grain size is comparatively bigger and they are also well sorted and here in the third it is very big in size coarser in size the sediments and it is also well sorted but here in the last image uh, all the grains are mixed up that is it is uh, there is no sorting okay uh, it shows a great variation in the uh, grain size okay so what happens if you pour water in such <clears throat> which container will get filled if you release the water from these all simultaneously so you can see here uh, the first right the it will get filled first the third image right so here this gets filled first then this then this and the last one is having the least porosity that is why it is showing less amount of water so this is how the packing of the grains degree of sorting size shape of the sediments all these factor they affect the porosity so just uh, a brief introduction about the porosity so here you need to more concentrate on definition and formula right so what is the porosity here porosity is the ratio of volume of voids or the pores in a soil mass to its total volume so i hope you have got a clear idea right of the porosity so it is volume of voids okay how, how much voids are present okay what is the volume of those voids and to its total volume that is called as the porosity it is expressed in percentage okay so <coughs> we multiply by 100 so this is the first concept in the module 2 that is porosity so i hope you have uh, cleared your all doubts okay thank you